Hello everyone, welcome to English Grammar Class. In this lesson we will discuss about gerunds. What they exactly are, why they are needing, when can we use them. So, let's get started. What is a gerund? When we use a verb in place of a noun then, it is called a gerund. Now, how we can form a gerund. Add ing with verbs in first form and use it as a noun. Verbs ing form in the use in two ways. First, gerund. Second, present participle form. Gerund, use this as a noun form. While present participle, we use it as a modifiers or progressive verbs. Let's understand about gerund. As you already knows about subject and object, Subject can either be noun or pronoun. Subject cannot have any other form. A gerund can be the subject of a sentence. For example, playing this game is lots of fun. Playing is a gerund, which acts as a subject in the sentence. A gerund can also be the object of a sentence. For example, children all over the world enjoy playing games together. Playing is a gerund, which acts as an object in the sentence. That's all in this video. Thank you for watching the video.